So we just saw what variables are, how they work, how we declare them, right? Variables can be called anything. Um, they need to start with either a, a number or a letter. You want to name them uh, well. So that means that well means that somebody can understand what it is that it's doing. X right here is like not really the greatest. Really what I should say is something like, you know, um, X pause. So I know the, that it's the X position uh, of my circle as it moves along, right? There we go. So that's a little bit nicer and cleaner. That's a little bit more uh, immediately understandable in the context of the program what X is or now X pause is referring to. It's not this just sort of like abstraction. And at a quick glance, I can understand what it's doing. It's really important to just make sure that the things that you label or create in your own sketches make sense uh, for not only for other people to read it, uh, like myself when I'm looking through your work, but then also like when you go and revisit your work off in the future, it's really important for you to be able to say, oh, right, this is what I meant when I named this thing, you know, uh, Mr. Squiggles, right? Um, you, you just want to give it something that's, uh, that means something, right? So XPOS here is something that's a global variable, right? And so that means that I can access it anywhere inside of my program. I can access it here. I can access it, in, like here it's declared. I can access it inside of the setup, right? So I could say like, you know, uh, XPOS uh, equals, we'll say um, 10, well actually we'll say XPOS, yeah, we'll say XPOS equals XPOS uh, times, and so I'll show you some things that you can do here, um, times, and then we've got this uh, function here called random, ransom, no, random, uh, and random takes two arguments, the first one being the low end and the second one being the high end, or you could just put it in one thing in there and it'll uh, figure it out for you. So we'll say uh, x plus equals 10, and then we'll multiply it by a random number between um, we'll say uh, 1.0 uh, and uh, 3.0, right? And then we'll print that out. So then we'll say console.log xpos, do, right? And so we'll see whatever this is. And then um, I'll copy this down here so you can see xpos changing afterwards, right? Um, so I save this. And whoa, look at that. Uh, so we can see that it multiplied it by some uh, fractional number, right? Uh, and here we can see it incrementing over time, right? So that's uh, there. So 10 times, and this would have been 2.6, right? So 2.6, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can see that random gives you like a really long value. Um, but, uh, you know, not all variables are accessible everywhere inside of your program. Sometimes, and this will become, this will happen uh, when you start to get into for loops and if statements and some other things like that, you'll start to work with uh, things that are called local variables. And those are variables that are only accessible inside of a specific function. So uh, here, in this case, and just to demonstrate it, um, I've got my global variable x pause, and then I've got, uh, let's say I wanted to do something that held the y position of my ellipse. So I could say something, and you'll notice that I'm doing this inside of the setup. I said, let y pause equal uh, 100. All right. Uh, now, if I wanted to, and I just said, okay, console log me y pause, right? Um, and I ran this, you'd see 100, right? So that's y pause. Right? I can make this a little bit more clear. I can put quotes around this and I can say uh, y position. is space all right so that makes the the console print out a little bit more meaningful right 
y position is 100. And all I'm doing here is I'm taking this string, y position spa is space, and it's inside of quotes, and then I say plus y pos, and it appends that this variable at the end here. Now, down here, if I asked it to say, to print out uh, y pos, uh, it's going to throw an error, and I won't be able to use it. And that's because this right here is declared inside of setup. So it's not available anywhere else. It's not available in any other function. So if I run this now, uh, I will get an error. And so um, this is another one of those times where p5.js gives us a useful error. So it seems that you may have accidentally written ypos instead of, well, this is actually isn't terribly useful now that I look at it. But it's looks, it thinks that I'm asking for um, a mathematical function Really, what's happened is I've called a, f uh, a, a variable here, um, ypos, that doesn't exist inside of this function. It only exists up here, right? Now, if I moved ypos up here, then it becomes a global variable. And now we can see it keeps on printing that out. These are all the different times that it's been printed out now. So, uh, so this shows you how the difference between something that's global, accessible throughout your entire program, and local, something that's expressed, that's only available inside of the place where you uh, initialized it and, uh, and declare it.